girls grew up in a castle. But it wasn't how you might imagine. You'll never meet any men locked up here. We were not rich, and all our hopes rested on my sister Rose. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Those boys are very taken with you, Rose. How can you tell? I've always had antennae for the currents of attraction. I am going to concentrate on Rose's quest for love. Which one do you like? Simon. He's the eldest. I'd be Lady Cotton, then. And it's probably just as well. Someone has to keep a lid on things. Wouldn't you rather have Neil? Treading on my feet. So start making up your own steps. She will dress like a doll and behave like a lady. You'll need to learn a slow fox, a quick step, a tango, and how to smoke. She's natural and spontaneous, quite unlike anyone I've ever met before. I suppose she is. And so are you. I look a lot prettier when I'm not standing next to Rose. I am never going to fall in love. Life is dangerous enough. Miss Cassandra, would I be presuming if I asked you to come for a walk with me? When the bluebells hurt. No. You wouldn't. You're much more clever than such a pretty girl has a right to be. I said I'd never fall in love. I said love was a murderous thing. It was only a kiss, Cassandra. It was my first kiss. It is. And I'm walking on air. <laughs>